Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys my current foundation routine. I've been reaching towards this foundation, all these same products for about maybe two to three months now and I've just been loving the outcome. I love how it looks, I love how it lasts, I just love it all. So if you guys would like to see how I get a flawless face with my current foundation routine, then just keep watching. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox primer water. I've been loving this recently. I kind of go through phases where I'll use it, forget about it, use it, forget about it. Um, I recently rediscovered it in my collection and I pulled it out. Well, not recently, like a few months ago, I pulled it out and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I must admit, I don't use it every day, especially when I have like a fresh fake tan on because like it will take it away if it gets on like my neck and stuff. So I don't use it every day, but it is my favorite. Like I really, really like it. So I'm just going to spray a few sprays over my face. So I've given that primer water about 30 seconds to sink into my skin. Now the foundation that I've been loving is the Too Faced Born This Way. I feel like I was really, really late on the bandwagon with this one. Um, I did try it like, I think I bought this like over a year ago. I used it once and I hated it. Like I absolutely hated it. I don't know why, I don't know what was up, but I just didn't like it. And I didn't touch it for ages, but then it was the only one that really matched my fake tan one day and I started using it and I just fell in love. And it's just been my go-to foundation ever since. Like if I'm going anywhere, this is the foundation that I pack. Like if I'm going away like overnight or for a few nights, it's like the foundation that I love to wear like every day for work. I try not to wear it every day for work just because it's a little bit expensive. But if I could, I would. I use the shade light beige normally. And then if I have a really, really dark tan, then I'll mix in a little bit of sand. So I don't need a full pump of this. I probably just get like almost a full pump, but not a full pump, if that makes any sense at all. This is what it looks like. It's not like a super runny texture. It's more just like a, like it's not super thick, but it's not liquidy either. Like you can see it's starting to drip down my arm. It's really, really good. Now what I do is I just dot it around my face. I do have a few bits of like discoloration, like especially on my cheeks, like my cheeks are so red. And then I do have a few blemishes as well. And I find that this foundation just covers beautifully. Just going to be using a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I love these so, so much. I just basically like swirl it into my skin. So if you do fake tan or like just regardless of if you fake tan or not, when you are buying a new foundation, make sure you match it to like your neck or even like your decolletage here. Just so it actually kind of like looks one instead of like matching it to your actual face color. Because like if I match it to my face color, this would be like completely white. Then it wouldn't match here and it just wouldn't look right. Um, it's a little bit hot in Australia today. It's getting more and more hot. So my redness is showing through a little bit more. So I am going to add a teeny little bit more. Not too much. I probably use a pump in total, but I start out with less and then I use more. Um, it really just depends. Some days I'm happy with this coverage and some days I just want like full coverage. Today I want to like show you guys how well this builds up. So I just kind of like target it on like my redness. And then with the second layer, I just kind of like pat it on like this. And then make sure you do get into your hairline as well. I've been filming YouTube videos for years and I've always filmed with, with a mirror. Today, I don't know where that mirror has gone, but I envy people who like always in their videos go, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I can't see. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot do that. It's so hard. Like it's actually so hard. Also, sorry about the lighting. I use natural lighting and I don't even know what's up. Like, mm. I don't know if you guys can notice, but it is such an improvement. Like it's definitely like even out my complexion and it just is such a nice, lightweight yet still full coverage product i really really like it and also it's not like a matte foundation i would say it's more on like the satin dewy side um it's not like a dewy dewy foundation but it's not like a satin either i'd say it's like a in between now for my under eyes i'm going to be using the it cosmetics bye bye redness it says Bye Bye Redness, but I think it's like a Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, I've tried the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye products, and I'm not the biggest fan. I much prefer this Bye Bye Redness product for my under eyes. Um, so I just grab a little bit, and then I just tap it underneath my eye. And this I kind of use because it's like so like highly pigmented. I just kind of tap it underneath my eye. It's kind of like in a little pot like this. You can tell that I've used heaps. Like personally speaking, I don't understand how people can use like a wet beauty blender. I just feel like it makes my foundation and everything look so less, like it doesn't even look pigmented or anything. I just, I don't know. It's not my thing. I'm sure it works for some people, but it doesn't really work for me. 
So a concealer that I really, really love and it's really, really affordable is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. I use the shades 30 and 20. I kind of just mix and match. I'm going to use a, probably a little bit of both today just because I don't want to be like super like highlighted underneath my eyes, but I don't want it to be like the same color as my face. So I just mixed a little bit of each and I'm just going to dot it underneath my eyes. Seriously, Maybelline makes some of the best concealers of the drugstore. Taking my dry beauty blender again, I'm just going to tap away underneath my eyes. Now to set my foundation, um, well, I'm going to set my concealer first because that's what I always do. I'm going to use the Maybelline Matte Maker. This is in shade Classic Ivory number 10. Um, basically, it's just a really, really light powder. I take a beauty blender. I kind of just rub it a little bit. And then I just pat it underneath my eye. I'm also just going to set my forehead like in the center a little bit because that's where I applied a little bit of light concealer. I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of the beauty blender. I'm just going to bring it down my nose. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. Mine's really dirty. I just load up my brush with a little bit of product and then I just start tapping away at my face. So this basically sets my face, adds a little bit of extra coverage if I need it, which in this case I don't. So I'm just doing like a super light dusting. I don't set like really, really close to my eye, but where like the light powder meets, like where I didn't powder, I like to tap over so it can kind of like, I guess, blend together. I don't know, it just seems to work. And now I'll just use that detail setting brush again from Real Techniques and I'll basically just dust away any of the excess powder that I had on my under eye. So this is basically my foundation done. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go apply some bronzer, eyeshadow, eyebrows, that type of thing. And then I'll come back and just basically finish off with some setting spray. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back from doing my makeup now. Um, as you can see, I've kind of just got like a little bit of eyeshadow, eyebrows, like that type of thing going on. So my very final step with my foundation is basically once I've finished all my makeup, I will grab a setting spray. My favorite one is from Urban Decay. Um, I like all of them. I've tried the Chill, I've tried the Original, and I've tried the D Slick. I like them all for my skin type because I have quite like normal combination. Today I'm gonna be using the Chill just because I have like a kind of glowy hydrating vibe going on. Chill is cooling and hydrating. If you have more oily skin, try D Slick. Or if you can't really decide, just get the original. They're all really, really good. I like it because it improves longevity and also it just settles everything down and makes everything not look powdery at all. Um, I just give mine a shake always and then I just do a few spritz all over my face. I love how it just sets everything down. It's so cooling. It's so refreshing. I love it. Similar to the Smashbox Primer Water. I've never tried this as a setting spray, but I don't use it as setting spray. So I love starting my makeup off with a spray and then finishing off with a spray, especially when I don't have a fake tan on. Um, I just feel like it's so refreshing. Okay, guys. So this is it um this is what my foundation looks like once all my processes are complete um i love a beaming highlight so if you're looking at that that is coming up in a future video um so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that and i feel like there isn't really anything else for me to say but i do got, have a question for you guys that have stayed till the end um can you guys let me know what your favorite foundation is because i am a foundation junkie and i just love trying new foundations i feel like i've been using this foundation for a while and i'm super super happy with it but i'd love to find like another one i guess like i don't know i i really should just stick to what i know and save my money but i just want to try something new so if you guys can let me know what your favorite foundation is then i would really really appreciate that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed definitely don't forget to like and subscribe because it would mean so much to me and yeah hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye